Hey guys, Joseph the World here, and today, yet again, we are talking about another disgusting nonce. But not just any nonce. The disgusting man you see on right your screen right now is Terry Cook, or better known as PC Terry Cook, because this nonce was a police officer for a time. And we're going to go talk about him in a minute, but if you live in the UK, you might have seen this clip before. Jeremy. That of the police officer is the one that you tucked out of my house when I was 15 and he had sex with me. This one here? No, the other one that was getting, what did you make? Terry yeah. Cook. Where did this ask him? He was 22, working really? at Radio Rentals. Have you been advised by the number is it, is it PC Cook? Have you been advised? Is it PC Cook? Is that Have you, you been are? advised? I'm just asking you to, to identify yourself. My collar number's on my shoulder. Yeah, but are you PC Cook? It doesn't matter what my name is. Do you know this lady here? Hello. Hi. From a long time ago, yes. Do you remember me throwing you out of our house because she was no. underage and you were having sex? I don't remember that. Don't either. you? No. You should do. No. Do you remember him? Yeah. Where do you remember him from? Oh, when I was 15. 15. Have you been spoken to People like you make me before, sick. Right? Have you or not? You're Can a you answer nonce. my question or not? You're a nonce. Can you answer my question? You're a question nonce. Or not? Don't you love it when. A paedophile manages to become a police officer to further abuse their power because this isn't the only time he's done some kind of disgusting but shit. But the story behind this, when the woman, who obviously is a recording, was 15, this police officer obviously forced himself onto her and obviously years later, as this the guy who's driving the car got pulled over, I think he's the dad, by the way, but when he got pulled over for some sort of license plate issue, he they recognised the police officer as PC Terry Cook, the person who obviously forced himself on this woman when she was 15 and somehow became a police officer in that time of them being apart from each other. So what are you waiting for him for? He's a bit too old for you, isn't he? You like the younger ones. Look. Look at that nonce. Keep making abuse. Don't keep calling me mate. Don't call me mate. Listen, me and you are not friends. Don't ever call me mate. We can never be friends. We can never be friends. Do you know why we can never be friends? It's not because you're a policeman. It's not because you're a policeman. It's because you're a nonce. It's because you're a nonce. You're a dirty, stinking nonce. You were, she was 15 years old. Don't keep calling me mate. Me and you aren't mates. That's where you belong. Behind the shutters, you little beast. That's where the confrontation kind of ends, and I've pretty much shown everything that needed to be shown. But even though the quality might be bad, the link will be left in the description if you do want to go check out the full confrontation, because it's not a sting. Anyway, moving on. What happened to PC Terry Cook after this whole incident? What happened to the police nods? Okay, I'm going to try to explain this quite as clear as I can. Anyway, when this video emerged, or allegation emerged, he was then investigated, and this led to him being fired after multiple counts of unprofessionalism and for incidents of where Mr. Cook was found to have breached the police professional standards of behaviour. So I'm going to name a few things what he did. Used personal information gathered at the scenes of police incidents to contact vulnerable women he found attractive. He pursued a sexual relationship with a victim of domestic violence, tried to add a sec second victim of domestic abuse on Facebook a, a number of times after being called to her home address, asked the victim of a car crash on a date and called her friend the next day to repeat the invitation. And after mis the misconduct hearing in April 2021, an in investigation into the officer was launched by the Independent Office for Police Conduct. Obviously, you know, when he responded to the domestic violence victim on Facebook, you know, after she called the police for help, she replied to his message saying, no, I take my number from police records to get hold of me. I don't think you're supposed to do that, laugh out loud, because obviously it was awkward at the time. He then pursued a sexual relationship with her, and then another woman also called the police that, she feared for her safety because her ex-husband had come to her home and began to bang on the door. 
He had sent a number of friend requests and a wave after searching for the woman on Facebook and she did not respond. And there was a degree of persistence in his approaches after being denied multiple times. So I hope that all makes sense of how I described it. He then, as obviously this was being investigated and this was all going to be posted to the public, PC Terry Cook then tried to put in an anonymous letter so his name wouldn't be on any of these documents or be available to the public so no one would actually know which police officer it was. But it was denied and he was the information on the out now. It's how I'm covering this now. What a disgusting man. Not only did he force himself on a younger woman and obviously is a nonce, he abused his power, was highly inappropriate in situations where professionalism is a standard, and tried to flirt with these women multiple times and get in contact with them even when they denied his advances. He was a womaniser, and thank fuck he got ha- fired. God knows how he got, even got hired in the first place. And as far as I can see, I cannot find any information of him getting prosecuted or anything like that for obviously doing everything he did. So basically, even though he got fired, he pretty much got away with it all. God knows what he's doing now. Hopefully he's not in a position of power anymore because he obviously can't be trusted with that. And honestly, this dude is probably one of the worst people we've covered simply because of the fact of how much he got away with. Anyway, that's all the information I've left to share on this dude. I hope everything I said made sense. I think it did. But, yeah. that's This has been Joseph the World. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share the video as well. We're almost on a thousand subs. Hopefully we can hit it by the end of this year. But, you know, even if we don't, I'm still happy why the major success this channel has had in the last few months. Anyway, make sure to like and subscribe again. <laughs>